I'm gonna see how uh, I'm gonna hook up this generator to this engine. I tried to run this with my um, my old bench grinder. That one probably wouldn't have a problem with it because it's um it's a little more stout. That that was actually from uh from the probably the 40s um, from Lockheed. That was a lightweight bench grinder, but that thing is freaking it's an anvil. It's awesome. But uh, I got this. It was a trade for some things that I traded a guy for. Um, but I couldn't get it to go, so I don't know. But I didn't have an engine at the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up hooking this to that tonight. But I haven't cranked this engine in a while. And I just painted the, the exhaust. So we're going to see how, see if it darkens up when I crank it. Um, but this thing I'm going to cranked in a minute. We're going to see how this Predator 212 does. And uh, old school, check it out. Let's see if it's still one pole wonder. Gotta love these Predator engines, man. They're good, good stock. Let's see. Look at that. First pole, man. First freaking pole. that exhaust pretty quick. Let's see if it turns dark. I used that on an ATV once and it turned black because it was hot. So I put it on there cold and it stayed red even after you heated it up after it dried. So let's see. Get warm. That's a good engine. We're going to let that run for a second. I'm going to show you what I'm putting it in. This thing is a... Um, well, shoot. Hold on. Let me get some light. That's a handy thing right there. Like, I don't know, 15 bucks at Walmart. And uh, I had to get a replacement for my, my, my work light. Oh, there's that light. There you go. This is a, uh, still working on it. I've done so much to it that I go back and forth. You know, I think I'm done, but then I'm not. But uh, this thing was originally built in uh, 1950, I don't know, between 55 and 1959. And uh, originally it was solid. Had, a, had the bonnet in the back where the engine goes. Check out the uh, the gearing. I've never seen anything like it. The pulley. Oh shit! Something fell. I thought something fell. I, I better cut that off before something else falls. Whatever. Oh, cat food. <laughs> no, but um. Uh, yeah, welcome to my world. Of the bonnet which is right there actually it's the bonnet originally it was a uh, multicolored I don't know how many paint jobs it's had since it was built but uh I'm gonna get another paint coat of paint on it but this is actually a good paint job that I did but I need to redo it when I'm finally I was just messing around it's about six coats of black and about five coats of clear coat polish it up it's spray spray can now next time I'll be using this guy when it invested in it I don't know how to use it as well as I could but I will be using it after some practice these these will be gone I don't like those but um pulled the seat out everything was this thing was um pulled out of a, a yard covered with uh, weeds and the hood was um yellow and red just all kinds of paint job and it was solid had a solid solid bubble nose I did that um 
all the trim's mine, but I, I pretty much I had it painted black. I don't have to repaint it. I've clear coated it just to protect it from rust, but it's going to get through there. But it was uh, made for children. Uh, it's like based on a um, micro midget racer, but we're talking about the uh, the setup here because you have your your clutch, which is an industrial clutch, unlike a centrifugal clutch. It's uh, it's got a pulley, and the pulley actually goes hooks to this very very robust belt, and that drives this small gear, which drives the main gear or sprocket and um which you know drives wheels and uh but i've never seen a setup like this it's a compound so you have a your pulley to a large pulley which transfers power to your small gear through a chain and a sprocket to the larger sprocket and the brake which is actually i was going to put a foot brake in it but you know what i like this because you pull it back and it's like a parking brake you just pop it forward it's it's it's, it's an ingenious design, but it was made for children. And um, when I got it, I held on to it for about four or five months trying to find a value. Um, couldn't find anything on it. I believe it was home built. But whoever built it um, knew what they were doing. Um, instead of having a tensioner for the belt, you've actually got to set up a sled with a, this whole thing. This whole sled, will. that's where the engine mounts right here, these two, two braces. And this whole thing will will float, and it's driven by these springs, which keep it forward, putting pressure on the belt. And uh, I mean, it's it's really neat, 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 neat. I haven't ridden it yet. This thing hadn't been driven since 1974 or 75. Um, 40 plus years. I did that. I don't know if I like it. My friend likes it. The seat. I made seats that are uh, black I put that leather on there um, but only children could get in like I said seven year olds maybe and I couldn't fit in it so what I did is modified it to where you could lift this up and uh, I put a universal joint on the, the steering column I've got a new steering wheel I cut the old one off it was a half moon type thing that I didn't like so I've got more of a racing steering wheel on it and I'm gonna finish up it's, it's dirty right now um, but I've been doing a lot of work for customers and my, you know, my carport's been full. So I have to cover it up and leave it out in the rain, which I hate doing, but I figure it's, you know, pushing 70 years old, made it this far. I've got new wheels on it, obviously the old wheels, but new rubber. Um, but I'm going to try to base it on like a, I don't know, 19 mid twenties, um, Bugatti when I'm done with it, it'll, it'll be pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think? We'll see. But, uh. The, the seats in here I've got to take it out but um there you go it's a long video for nothing bye